Um, hi. So today we're gonna talk about how to take better pictures of your macarons. So if you haven't already watched this video, that one will teach you how to do it on a budget. And now this is still on a budget, but it's less of a budget than this. This is like the next step above the cardboard box and iPhone pictures, okay? So we're one step up here. So yeah, keep watching. So I recommend just getting something cheaper at first if you're gonna do this because you don't need like the big fancy ones. All of these photos were taken with this. And since we're just doing Instagram and like web stuff, I felt that this was totally fine. Like these pictures aren't gonna be on a billboard. So, you know, so I use the Canon Rebel T2i. I don't even think they make it anymore, but I like the Canon Rebel T whatever. And and a 50, that, I cut my nails. That and that lens. Okay, and I'll link that below, but you buy these separate usually. Sometimes you can get a kit, but I didn't want all the other crap that came with it, so I got this used, I think, and this used as well. So this has been just fine for me. The bad thing about this is, I'm not gonna get into this, mostly because I don't know. There's like different frame sizes, and this one wasn't the one I wanted, so I just tape off where I want the picture to be. So what I'll do is I will just frame it based on the tape lines instead of the camera lines. And that makes it easier when I'm going in to crop it for Instagram or whatever. I have a, I know where it's gonna be. Okay, what else? And I think a lot of photographers are gonna throw things at me for saying this, but I think just shooting in auto is fine at first, you know? Like, we're not trying to be professional photographers, so just shooting in auto, letting it focus on its own, doing its thing has worked for me for a long time. But don't tell any real photographers I said that. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by hitting the like button below. Okay, now that's the camera part, but I still think you can use your iPhone if you have the proper lighting. Now for the lighting for the more advanced photos, I use a, I use this now, and I still use these. So like I was saying in this video, use window light, use natural light, but it just happens when you're doing all the other stuff, sometimes you don't get to the pictures until, you know, two in the morning when it's dark out. So I use this light, on one side and these lights on the other side. Maybe I'll draw a diagram. Okay, so this is how my setup is. Light coming from this side. Say the, say the, the macarons are right here. Lights coming from this side, also a little light coming from here. But this light is really bright and I have like a diffuser over it. I got a giant umbrella diffuser, which is the size of a beach umbrella. So I don't know if I would recommend that. It literally takes up the whole room, the photography stuff, because of this light. And when you're using this, I would highly suggest a tripod. It's not totally necessary, but you would be surprised how hard it is to get a clear image when you're, you know? So I would get a tripod, sit it like this. The hard part is when you do overhead, getting a tripod for that. So I have, this for that. So this is a whole thing. I absolutely did not use all of this stuff until like a year or two ago. No, it was like this year. I absolutely did not invest in all of this stuff until I've been doing this for a long time. So you put it on the tripod, the other tripod, the overhead tripod. And this is what I use for my YouTube videos. I was thinking about making videos on how to do your own little, how to shoot your own little food videos. Do you want me to do that? So you set it up so the stand, the tripod's like this, and then there's another one like this. So then it sits right here. The hard part about that is you can't see the th you can't see the thing. So then what you need is a cord that you can plug into your laptop or computer to see what you're shooting. So I have a very old laptop um, that I use. You plug the tether cord in here. I will link this below, and then plug it into your computer. And usually your camera will come with a software that so you can shoot live so I will put 
this here, have it plugged into my computer, and then go over to my computer and have that set up near what I'm photographing. So I will have it set up right next to the macarons and I will be adjusting them and looking at what they look like in the computer the whole time. It is the greatest thing. It's so helpful when you're taking pictures to be able to just move a little thing, see it, move it, instead of move it, get up, take the photo again, look at it, say that looks like crap, come back and do it again. It's so helpful if you're using one of these cameras and doing overhead, even if you're not doing overhead, because then you can take the picture on the computer or the laptop. So photographers, I'm sure they're like, yeah, duh, Michelle. <laughs> but I did not know this, okay? And I think a lot of people don't know this. Like, this is the greatest thing I've ever heard. You can even focus with your computer, with the program, then take the picture, move around, take another picture. It's amazing. The only thing that would make this better if there was a way to get the tripod to move on its own. You know, like a remote, which I'm sure there's a thing for that, but I'm not spending the money on that. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified whenever I come out with a new video. Okay, now as for the backgrounds. I said before in this video, just a plain background, paint your own. That's kind of the cheaper version. If you want to invest in this and if you have the room, get yourself a stand like this. Okay, I just keep this stuff set up all the time. So if I had a tear down every single time, I would not be doing this. So get yourself a stand like that where you put the paper rolls and get, I get these giant paper rolls, okay? That, okay, that open up. I don't think I'm gonna open it up. But that open up and you roll down from that stand, you roll this down, it's a paper roll. You know what paper does? I don't have to explain a paper roll to you. But you just hang it up on this, roll it down. I like to put it over a table or something and then take the pictures there. That is also a good way to do the front shots and get that seamless background look. You know, where you think, whoa, there's no wall line there. That's because usually it's a paper roll or Photoshop, but I don't wanna get into all that. So I just use the paper roll, take a front picture and it is just wonderful. Once again, I will say, don't use props, don't use anything like that until you're better at it. Like it's such a hard thing to get the hang of and get the composition right. I would just focus on the product first in the photo, then eventually get into props. But if you are gonna use props, I like just simple stuff like this, you know, clean white or clean plain looking stuff in these photos, just something clean and simple. It's nice to add layers too. So if you do, maybe get something that's tiered. If you want me to do a process video about taking pictures of your macarons, like what I do from start to finish, finish? What I do from start to finish, like taking the photos, arranging the macarons, um, the lighting, how I set it up, editing, do you want me to do that kind of video? Let me know in the comments. I think I went over everything. Oh, editing. That is also something I could go into more detail about. Do you want me to do a video on how to edit your photos? Because I see a lot of people that I just wanna get my hands on those photos and edit them because they look great, the lighting looks great, the setup looks great, but it's just like, it just looks dark and, and kind of dull, which is fine if you like that, but, but it's just so easy to brighten it up when you edit. So let me know if you want me to do a video on that. That could be fun, but just adjusting brightness, but not too much. You don't want it to look like washed out and really bright. Like if you look at it and you're like, ow, oh, my eyes, take it down a bit. Okay. Now, as for the camera, you really, you really do what you want with the camera. Look up your own, what's gonna work for you the best. Like don't just get this camera or this kind of camera because I said to. This is just what I've found works the best for me. Oh, but definitely get a lot of battery packs. That's another thing. Get yourself some extra batteries because if you're shooting and your battery dies and you've got everything all set up, that's a bummer. So make sure your battery's good. Get your flash drive. Oh, this is a flash drive I use. I'll link all of that stuff in the description. But like I said, all of this stuff is uh, 
you know, you can get substitutes. It doesn't, you don't think it's the exact same brands I'm using, except the light. I did a lot of research on that light. I really, really like that light. Okay, so that's something that I would recommend getting, but it's expensive, okay? I know that's a horrendous amount of money for a light, but that was one of the cheaper ones. Go look up other lights and you'll come back crying and buy this one. So I hate that it's so expensive, but I use it to film my YouTube videos. I use it to take my pictures. I use it to do my makeup. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Once you look it up, you're gonna see your show, you stupid. But um, it gets hot too. And I don't use it to film this YouTube video because it has a bit of a fan. So you can hear it. So that only works for my YouTube videos because I do voiceovers for my part that I film. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm filming the food part, it's being lit by that big light, but the, you could hear the fan and I turn off the audio to that video and then I go over it with my own voice on my iPhone. So this is filmed on an iPhone. Do you want me to get into filming food videos? Cause I totally did a lot of research on that and like how to do that in a cheap way as well. So just let me know in the comments. Anyway, I was so overwhelmed with this, but, and these cameras and learning all about it, but it just, for what I'm doing, shooting in auto just really works for me. And trust me, even if you're not a professional, you can use this. I bought a camera just like this for my five-year-old nephew and he uses it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it was used, okay? And he was showing interest in photography and I thought, what better present, okay? And now he uses it, he clicks it halfway to get it to focus and he gets beautiful photos, okay? And he's five. So if he can do it, no offense, Oliver, but if he can do it, you can do it, okay? So it really is that easy. But if you want, I can go through the process of it and show you exactly what I'm doing with this camera and my lights and setup and everything if you want. So if you're starting to sell your macarons or any other baked goods, I made a course called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you'll learn how to start or grow your own home bakery business. So I don't know when you're watching this, but it might still be open this month, but join the Michelle's Macarons Facebook group or join the email list and you'll be notified when it opens up again. Okay, and if you're still having trouble making macarons, go to the Michelle's Macarons Facebook group and post your picture in there and any questions you have and we'll all help you out. If you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll put those links in the description. Check out these other macaron videos. Okay, love you, bye.